how we used to do it uh, this role based configuration in uh, lower version uh, before site for 9 okay how we are we used to configure the server was before site for 9 so if you uh, go to this link uh, in the site core it will provide you some if you go here it will provide you some uh, instruction how to configure like you let's take an example that you want to configure uh, your you have deployed the vanilla instance uh, on your uh, one of the server and you want to make it that's a cm server so how will you do it or if you want to make it as a cd server then how will you do this so these configurations are uh, here you can see it is for a content delivery how will you do how will you configure that as a content delivery server so on this link there are some sets of instructions are given and in that you will find there is a there is a uh, here you will see there is one uh, X, uh, there is an excel sheet which is provided which contain all the configuration file which needs to be disabled on each instance site core and this is the manual process so you have to go download that configuration file and then you will see this uh, excel sheet sorry the, that excel file and you will see this uh, these are the configurations and where it will say that do you, if you are using the cd server you want to configure the content delivery server then you have to disable all this file if you are using the c you want to configure the cm uh, server then you have to disable all the file this file so these are given here and these we have to manually disable it okay so it's very time consuming and error prone mechanism so this is how you used to do it 8.2 so that's the reason why initially also i said there is a there are two uh, things which sitecore has introduced in sitecore 9 which are very helpful for developers we are not utilizing that much one is the uh, layers and another one this one where you can easily configure your servers okay very fast than we, we, we used to do it in the sitecore entire because it is a configurable it's not like you have to go manually and do it we, are, we used to do that in the uh, in the uh, in the lower versions okay but from sidecore on, uh, 9 onwards so these, these are configurable so now we will see how this approach is changed in sidecore 9 as, a, as I as we checked earlier that the, those are manual process which we used to do in sidecore 8 and as I said in sidecore 9 it is configurable so how does it get configurable so that we will see it First of all, Sitecore allowed uh, developers to define your instance name in the role, the instance role in your app.config itself. So in app.config itself, you can define the role by using this key, role define, and where you can is define your instance, whether it is a local instance, it is a UAT instance, it is a CM instance, CD instance, whatever instance which is there, which you want to use it, you can name that. Okay. Then you can have there your own old role and multiple roles to the single instance so if a single uh, instance can be used for a multiple purpose like only one you one instance can you you want to use single instance for uh, cm as well as the processing okay so then do you can define it like here you we we are using it for the content delivery and uat instance then you you can define like role define your intent delivery and uat instance okay so the same instance can be used as the content delivery as well is performing two roles content delivery as well as a uat instance here okay then how your your patch configuration works here okay so here if you say i want to add this agent sidecore.task html catch clear agent only on the content delivery not on the custom code so how you used to do it in in lower version that you used to either deploy the only that fire bad patch coil on the content delivery and you you are you are dis, uh, or you 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 have to disable it okay on manually on the uh, cm okay so whenever you do a uh, ci cd configuration in cd used to uh, used to create a different package for uh, uh, cm used to use a different package for cd and then accordingly it gets deployed into the server and that is how you are used to manage it right or if it is get deployed then you have to uh, disable it manually okay but this is not the case from side for nine orders you can use this configuration where in this configuration you can you can uh, uh, define like a role uh, require as a content delivery so what it will does it it this configuration will get applied only for the content delivery instance so what is this content delivery where you in your instance app.config you must have defined this content delivery there as a name so if your name is the same as a content delivery then only this patch file will get applied otherwise it will not so in this case you will have only a single uh, 
single build folder or single deployment folder which you can deploy on the both the instance or whatever instance which you are having but your rules will manage it as per your uh, instance name okay so we can not only that we can use a or and not operator also along with this okay whether you want to use a contain delivery and UAT instance you want this uh, configuration that way also you can do it okay so th this way your configuration is done programmatically okay no multiple files are required nothing manually you are doing it so when you develop it itself you configure it you define your configuration as per your role it will get applied okay so this is how you are configuring it so this this is the great improvement which is done from site for 8 to 9 where all the controls are given to the developers who can control those i mean you, you just remove the manual activity which we used to perform to set up the different uh, instances okay so this is also one of the important uh, important features with site for from site for 9 order uh, onwards okay